ear. Ear, simply point to your ear. You can point to the other ear as well. Here. So here, I like to move on to one side, one hand down and the other hand just um, behind your ear. And you can do the same thing on the other side. So you can do it just with a straight leg or with a sit lunge. Here. Listen. Listen is the same as here. So listen, but use your face as well. You, uh, somebody is speaking, maybe about you, so look in the direction that you want to hear. And the same the other side, so look and lean a bit more. Think. Think is always hands in, so think is touch in. Idea is out. So think. You're thinking those things are inside your head. A bit like imagination, you could do the same as thinking. So idea and think. And you can be a bit puzzled with think, so think can go on to being puzzled. An idea, it's almost like inspiration has come, so you can do that and you can jump for joy as well. Idea. Impatient or fed up. Cross your hands. You are really, really fed up with waiting for somebody. Maybe um, someone's kept you waiting a long time. Maybe the bus hasn't come. Uh, maybe the train is late. But you get really fed up. So it's one hand, uh, one foot crossed, arms together crossed, and mm. weary. Oh, you're so tired. It's been a really, really long day. So you can be puzzled. You can be almost asleep. And you start to slouch down a bit because you're really tired. So you can move a bit with that one as well. And sleep. Sleep. Both hands together, almost in a praying position. And um, hands under, by the side of your head, lean onto it. So obviously you can do the same thing on the other side as well. That's to sleep. Tiredness. Tiredness. Um, I always think of yawning and rubbing my eyes. So, oh. Rest. Rest. It depends on the sort of rest. I like to rest in the arms of Jesus or rest in his presence. And this one I think is quite pretty. Just to put your head on your hand, just imagine that you're leaning on the Lord. Just imagine your head is on his breast and you're just leaning into his presence. That's to rest. Also, you might um, lie down if you're resting. So you could be like this to rest or you could be completely asleep and rest. Fall down prostrate. So to fall down, I like to really fall down. You can do it in a very controlled way. So ladies, if you're not very supple, or gentlemen even, be very, very careful. Again, make sure before you do any exaggerated movements that you are properly warmed up. So to fall down, I tend to go into almost like a court curtsy and fall down. And to be prostrate is just to lay on your front. So hands can be under your head if you're sleeping. If you're praying, hands can be by your side or hands can be down by your side. You could even have them up a little bit if you wanted to. So that's prostrate. Face down? Which is... Yeah, that is the same. That, it's the yeah, same. Yeah, face yeah. down is literally to be face down. So that's just the same. And bow down? Bow down. Okay. So From standing again. up, there are several different ways of doing this one. So to bow down, you can go, down, go up on your toes, bend your knees... 
and bow down like that. Or if you don't want to bow down like that, you can come down like this. Bring your leg right round in a circle, depending on how supple you are, and come right down. So that's bow down. And um, there are many different ways that you can bow down. Um, there's a song, We Bow Down and Confess, and the chorus has three types of bow down. And the first time I really felt moved to worship to that song, I was there thinking, oh brother, how am I going to <laughs> bow down in more than one way? But the Lord gives expression if you ask him to. So we've got like this, just there. You can be head down, arms back. You can be right down, face like this, face in hands, arms behind you to bow down. Kneel. To kneel, again, you can do in exactly the same way. You can kneel like this, like Yada, so your hands are raised up. You can pray, kneeling. Use your imagination. Don't look at how I do things. Get inspiration from the movements that I'm showing you, but don't be tied to them. Allow the Lord to reveal different movements to you. And I would be really interested to see different movements that you come up with. Reverence. Reverence. I like to put one foot forward, sit lunge, arms in um, demi-bra, head down. So that's reverence, that's one way of doing it. Reverence, another way, to do a sit lunge behind, head down, arms back. That's reverence. To sit at his feet. And I love this one. I just love uh, the story of Mary and Martha. Martha was so worried about many things, but all Mary did was to sit at the Lord's feet. Ladies, if you're wearing a skirt, which um, you're not quite sure how far it's going to cover, like this one. I like to hold the skirt down just in case, all right? If you're absolutely sure that um, it's not going to show anything that you don't want to show, you can just lean back and just adore the Lord. Just imagine the Lord is teaching you everything that he wants you to know. So it's almost like being in a daydream. You're just listening to the Lord and being in his presence to sit at his feet. Wake up. We've gone completely to sleep. Almost like the parable of the um, wise and foolish virgins. They all went to sleep and then they had to wake up. Some of them had the oil and some of them didn't. So to wake up, you're just waking. I tend to yawn when I wake up. I don't know what you do, so I just do what I do. Oh. Rub my eyes again. Completely get the sleep out of my eyes. Hair back. Arms up, and I've woken up. 